right, here we are with the adventures of Batman and Robin for the Sega Genesis. <clears throat> now, I've heard that this one is better than the Super Nintendo one because they got these little cutscene type things and uh, they just look better on this version. That's what I heard. I don't know, but we'll see. So, okay, here's Batman. And the first thing I gotta show you is jump code. Jump code. <laughs> All right, he throws his batarangs. Batarangs. All right. I got a couple of kill, one hit kill codes and stuff like that. All right. Well, the graphics are nice. I mean, Sega Genesis has pretty good graphics. They're usually clear, not murky, or anything like that. 16 bits like that. They have clear graphics. It's, it's when you start getting into PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64, where they're trying to do that 3D graphic crap. That's when it gets murky and dark and muddy. And I hate to say it, PS2 is the same way. They're, they're uh, murky and muddy. So, that's why you play them on an emulator, so you can get better better uh, resolution, better clarity, that kind of thing. But yeah, I've been wanting to play this one for a while, but I had the wrong uh, game version to go with the codes I had. I had to look it up. I, I've wanted to do this one for a while, and I, every time I tried codes, it didn't work. All right. I mean, look at this. This looks fantastic. Even by today's standards, it looks good. So. Oh, I got rapid fire. Oh, well, that's good. I didn't realize that. I'm here tapping the button a hundred times, and you can just hold it. Rapid fire, baby. You gotta love it. Just stand here and pivot. Just stand here and pivot. That's it. All right, time to go. Yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, I've never finished this game. I've always got to the part, well, on the Super Nintendo one, so I don't know if this is any different, but on the Super Nintendo one, you're at a mus an, an amusement park, and you're on the roller coaster fighting the Joker, and I kept falling off. But... If that happens here, maybe my jump code would help me. Who knows? But this one is a little different, isn't it? I can't remember. I've only played this one a little bit here or there, the Sega Genesis one. And again, every time I tried to play it, I had the wrong codes. No codes, no play. That's how it is. That's the law here at my house. No codes, no play. Of course, my wife, she, I don't play with codes, though. She, uh, she plays them legitimately. But she don't play old stuff like this. She plays pretty much the newer games, you know. Like, she just ended up getting the new, uh, Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom, for the Switch. See, that, that's too difficult for me. I wouldn't play that. Even with codes, I'm not interested. All that moving stuff around telekinetically, or joining stuff together, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Not interested in that. Rapid fire. One hit kill. Doesn't matter what weapon you have. You got one hit kill. Look at that. Where am I? There I am. Oh, there goes Harley Quinn. Well, that was pretty good. Pretty good for a first level. We're at the Gem Expo. Put a Comic Con in there. That'd be kind of cool. Have Batman at a Comic Con. Of course, we always do, right? Those people that dress up and stuff. So you don't really need the jump code right now, but I'm sure later in the game you will. You'll probably be doing platforming and all that stuff, I would assume. I wouldn't mind the sprites being a little bigger for the characters, so Batman was a little bigger. 
but for what it is, it's pretty good. Now, who am I fighting here? Uh, just little robot things. Just shoot up here. <laughs> Come on, you know you want it. Let's go. What if I just shoot up? Looks like they hit me and they blow up, so. You always fight lots of clowns in Batman games for thugs and goons. Remember in the old Batman Adam West TV show, The Goons? The Grand Order of Occidental Nighthawks is what they always called them. What an acronym. Weird. I don't know. It must have took them a while to come up with that. The Grand Order of Occidental Nighthawks. I'll never forget that. Neither will I forget the shark repellent bat spray. That's great. My mother laughed her head off with that when we saw that on TV. A lot of talk's been going on lately about the new Flash movie that's coming out. And everybody's like, well, who's your favorite Batman? Who's your favorite Batman? Well, considering when I grew up, I suppose that would be Adam West. I mean, that's what I grew up with. But if you're looking for more of a serious Batman and not, you know, kitty kind of Batman, campy, that kind of thing. Honestly, I think I would go with Ben Affleck. I thought he looked pretty cool. The outfit they had him in looked very much like the Dark Knight, uh, Dark Knight Returns, the Frank Miller series. You know, where he's really big and muscular and he's got the big oversized bat on his chest. I thought Ben Affleck did a great job. And I also liked him as Daredevil. A lot of people didn't, but I thought Daredevil was pretty cool. I liked it. I got both versions of Daredevil. The regular theatrical one and then, I don't know, the extra footage or whatever. They changed a couple of things. I used to have the Electro one because he had a cameo in it if you look at the special features, but it wasn't much of a cameo, so I... Would you get out of here? It wasn't much of a cameo, so I kind of got rid of it, to be honest. I, I really don't care too much for the Electra character. Although, uh, Jennifer Garner did a good job playing Electra, I just don't care for Electra, the character herself. A lot of these guys. Okay. I got her. There, she's out of there. Lots of these things. Come on. I've really got to do a whole play of this on my own. Oh, there's your Masonic tiles. Whoop, I didn't say that. That sounds like a conspiracy theory, and we can't talk about that here. <laughs> Alright, am I shooting this stuff? Okay, am I supposed to just be dodging? Because that ain't hurting that thing at all. I don't see it flashing at all. Oh, look at it. It comes at you. Alright, let me guess. Well, you can't touch me. do 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 Come on. Yeah, I think the one hit kill is just for uh, your regular goons on the street. Oh, here we are in a vehicle here. We got a truck that we're on. Yeah, see, this helps out. The jumping code helps out for stuff like this. Look, you could just easily get across. There we go. That's pretty good. Will you guys get lost? Okay, I gotta grab that. I don't know. Oh, I don't like that one. Eh. I don't think I have infinite uh, weapons. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, I 
can't go by. We gotta stay here and just fight balloons, I guess. Okay. Okay, now I can go. Not bad. Not bad. I like this game. I do. I like it more than the Return or Revenge or whatever of the Joker. I know I did a play. Play. I play. I didn't do it all, but I played some of it yesterday for the Super NES the Revenge of the Joker, which is just the demo. But whoever had it must have finished the demo because it's the whole game seems to be there. It's alright, the graphics are pretty good for the Super Nintendo version. Oh, this again. Boring! Boring! Come on, let's keep going here. I want to fight a bad guy, I want to fight a bunch of balloons. Can we just... Nope, I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> I don't even care if I get hit, to be honest. I just want to get by that part. Now, can I go? Thank you. Who is that that I keep hitting? Oh, it's just a crook with a money bag? Uncle Money Bags. Well, is this gonna be like the final countdown? Do 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 do. Oh, it's the Joker already. Whoa! Wow! Look at him covering his face. The Joker, like, oh! Wow! <laughs> he fell over. Well, I think level one's a good place to stop. Um. We did the first level, not too bad. Overall, I think it's a pretty good game. I think you might like it if you give it a try, but you gotta use codes. If you don't have codes, you might as well just go home and forget all about it because no codes, no play. <laughs> all right, well, that's it for now. Bye, kids.